Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Malcolm Man James here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how you can save enough money for a down payment on a house, whether that be a rental property or that being your primary resident. Stay tuned. Guys, the first thing I want to talk to you about, and the most important thing, is paying yourself first. I don't know how many times I can drill this into your head. Pay yourself first. Guys, so I, I did a kind of a study for two months. I was saving roughly, it was 39% of my income. It was like 39 point blah, blah, blah. I cannot stress how important paying yourself first is. If you do not pay yourself first, you will end up paying someone else first. Whether that be buying new clothes, uh, going out to eat every single day or every other day. That will add up, guys. So what I want you to do is whenever you get your paycheck, decide, okay, I need to put away this amount of money of my income into a high interest savings account. That way, you know, it could be compounding while you're saving. But what I, that's what I want you to do. And I want your target goal to be 40% of your income. Now people will be like, James, I can't save 40% of my income. Yes, you can. And how do you save 40% of your income? That is by reducing your expenses. Guys, reducing your expenses is, it's not more important than paying yourself first, but it is definitely up there. Reducing your expenses, um, trading in a new car, or trading in the car that you have for a crappier car, more mileage, getting roommates. Guys, eliminating your rent or your mortgage is probably gonna be the easiest way for you to save that 40% or more. Guys, getting roommates, if you're okay with living with someone either you do not know or you are friends with, whenever you get rid of that big expense, don't go just start buying stuff just because now you have that money. Stash that away so it's gonna be a down payment on a property. And a little bit, I'm gonna be talking to you about what you're going to be doing after you put that down payment on that property. But for right now, work on reducing your expenses so you can pay yourself 40% of your income. That way it's not going towards mortgage. That way it's not going towards rent, whatever it may be. It's, it's going to be tough. Trust me, it's going to be tough. And you might actually have to work your way into that. You might have to save 15% this month and then next month you're going to be like, okay, I can save 20% of my income. Next month, 30%. Next month, 40%. And then soon enough, guys, you're going to have ten to fifteen to $20,000 in your savings account just by saving 40% of your income. Guys, and another thing I want to talk to you about is getting a side hustle. I, I promise you it is worth it to get that side hustle. For roughly a year, I was working for DoorDash or um, Uber Eats. I was working for Uber Eats and DoorDash at the same time. I was delivering food for a whole year. I was working 7.30 to roughly 4.30, um, and then 7.30 in the morning to 4.30 at night. And then I was going to the gym. I'd get done about 5.30. I would then DoorDash or Uber Eats for about four hours. I was making close to $300 extra a week, a week. And that just goes straight into my savings. I don't, I don't put that towards anything else. That just goes straight into my high interest savings account. And that, I knew what my, my end goal was. That is saving enough money for that down payment on my, ver this is my very first rental property. That's how I saved my money. Hey guys, if you're taking some, some value out of this video, can you please just drop a like and a subscribe down below? It really does help out the channel. It helps me reach a bigger audience that helps me reach more people that way I can help them with their financial freedom, mostly through real estate investing. All right guys, let's continue on with that video. I was saving 40% of my earned income from my, my normal job and then from my side hustle, delivering food for DoorDash and Uber Eats, I was saving all of that money. In a year, I was able to save enough money to purchase my very first rental property. When I went to purchase that rental property, it was about 15% down. Guys, when you're saving money for a down payment on a property, you don't need 15 or 20%. Get a house in your area. 
get a house for three to five percent down and guess what rent that baby out live in it for a year rent out an extra bedroom a basement rent that out live mortgage free save all that money that you are you know you're renting out the basement or the 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 rooms for save up all that money and then in another year move out use this property that you were living in use that as a straight rental rent that out cash flow it do the same thing get another property for three to five percent down uh rent out the basement the the rooms live mortgage free save up that money plus the money for cash flow guys it just keeps compound compounding that's the power of real estate that's the power of house hacking guys the final thing that i want to talk to you about is maybe selling off some of the things that you don't need i consider myself a little bit as a minimalist and sell off things you don't need sell off clothes you don't need you probably have in your closet a lot of clothes a few hundred dollars worth of clothes sitting in there that you just don't need guys live off of the necessary things not the things that you want just live off the necessary things now i'm not i'm not saying do this for your entire life i'm not saying to not splurge i'm just saying when you're starting out you need to just basically live on the things that are necessary rather than things that you want it all comes down to what you want and how bad you want that and i'm talking about what you really want do you really want that financial freedom do you want to be able to travel the world wherever you go? In about four years, me and my wife are going to be financially free. And we're going to be able to do whatever we want, whenever we want, and with whomever we want. Guys, I'm talking about going to, to Thailand. I, we, we can't really do that because of our, our son. We kind of want to keep him here in the States. But if we wanted to, we would go to Thailand, live there like kings for five seven thousand dollars a month and just live live there for a year not get tied down just live there for a year and then go someplace else and it all comes back to the point that i'm trying to make is saving enough money for that down payment on a house whether that be your primary residence if you want to invest in the uh the market that you're in where you're physically living or saving enough for that 15 to 20 percent down to 25 percent down on a rental property it all comes down to what you really really want and a lot of you out there might be saying i don't have time to side hustle i don't have enough time i promise you you do i promise you you can either go to bed earlier wake up earlier doing a side hustle and then doing your entire day and then doing whatever you want to after work or sacrifice whatever you're doing after work to hustle your butt off and make money so you can get that down payment that's just working for that financial freedom what do you want what do you want in five to ten years that's what i'm talking about do you want to keep working for a let's just call it a w-2 job or do you want to live free do you want to live with no stress of money you know that money is coming in every single month all right guys that's the end of today's video uh, please just drop a comment down below talking about what your favorite way to save enough money for that down payment on a property. All right, guys, until next time, I'll, I'll check you guys later.